It may not be ski season yet, but it sure is swimming season. I recently took a trip with my family up to the Sugarbush area of Vermont, and one of the highlights for us was swimming. The town of Warren, where Sugarbush is located, is part of the Mad River Valley, where the Mad River flows. Along this river are many swimming holes for people to enjoy on a hot summer day. So if you're ever in the Sugarbush slash Mad River area, definitely check out this list of the best swimming spots in the Mad River Valley. To start off, Warren Falls is by far the most crowded swimming spot in the area. The parking isn't too bad. There is one main lot off of Route 100 and more parking on the side of the road. One of the things that makes Warren Falls so crowded is its extreme close proximity to the road. If you're parked at the parking lot, you only have to walk about 800 feet down a trail to get to the falls. Despite the crowds, this place is gorgeous. It's basically a long, narrow gorge with multiple different cascades, pools, smaller falls, rocks, and jumping points. It's only a 5-minute drive from Warren, a 10-minute drive from Sugarbush Resort, a 15-minute drive from Waitsfield, and a 35-minute drive from Montpelier. I would absolutely recommend Warren Falls to those who don't care as much about the crowds and just want to swim in a gorgeous area. Next on the list is the Leroux Park. There is plenty of parking right off of Route 100 in Waitsfield, and you only have to walk a short distance through a small park to get to the swimming. Once you take the path down to the river, there is a small beach where most people like to stay and relax. However, you can wade across the shallow part of the river to reach a flat, rocky shore on the other side, just in case the beach gets too crowded, which it definitely can on hot summer days. The LaRoe Swimming Hole is the perfect spot for kids and families. It can get a little crowded sometimes, but there are plenty of spots to sit down and relax. The best part about LaRoe is the huge boulder that people can jump off of into the deep part of the river below. <laughs> This boulder is huge with different jumping heights, so you can jump from a lower point or a much higher point. Both are extremely fun. To get up to the boulder, you can either swim across the river and climb up on the other side, or you can walk up a narrow pathway to the left side of the rock. This path winds through the woods behind the boulder where you can see a gorgeous hidden waterfall as you're walking. Anyway, the LaRoe Park and Swimming Hole is located right off of Route 100 and across from American Flatbread in Waitsfield. It is 8 minutes from Warren, 10 minutes from Sugarbush, 2 minutes from Waitsfield, and 30 minutes from Montpelier. Next up, we have Riverside Park. This place is very similar to LaRoe. Parking is right off the road, there is a small park, a small beach on the river to sit, and a rock face to jump off into the water. This rock is shorter and smaller than the one at LaRoe, however it does have a rope swing, which is always fun. Riverside is definitely on the less crowded side as there is limited parking, it's a smaller swimming hole, and is lesser known than the others in the area. Riverside Park is located just across from the Sugarbush Access Road. It's five minutes from Warren, Waitsfield, and Sugarbush, and is only half an hour away from Montpelier. Definitely a good swimming spot for those looking for a rope swing and not too many people. The last swimming spot in the Mad River Valley area on this list is the Waitsfield Covered Bridge. This was probably the coolest and most exciting swimming spot we visited as you practically jump off a bridge into the water below. There aren't really a ton of sitting areas right off the bridge on the river, but finding spots nearby is easy. Anyway, to jump off, you have to climb some rocks right alongside the road, and eventually you will be on a narrow concrete ledge on the side of the road. The concrete ledge sticks out next to the bridge as well and kind of hangs over the water where you can jump in. It is a pretty high jump, um, but the water below is extremely deep, maybe even up to 12 to 15 feet, so you don't have to worry about touching the ground. It is slightly scary at first, but also extremely fun. It also does not get crowded at all. The Waitsfield Covered Bridge is 10 minutes from Warren, 13 minutes from Sugarbush, a minute from Waitsfield, and 25 minutes from Montpelier. Parking is limited but often available. It is on Bridge Street where the bridge is located. That's all I have for episode 3 of Snowden. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing about the best swimming spots in the Mad River Valley, and maybe it gave you some ideas if you are ever in that area in the summer. There will most likely be two more episodes of Snowden over the next two months or so, and starting mid to late November when the ski season starts, there will be an every two week schedule.
better, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, actually, I'll just do. I'm gonna do this. 200. Let's see if that actually works. Oh, how? Oh, how? so let's go up to 1,000 then. So do like 500. <laughs> Pause it. There was no 